Happy Mother's Day! I show you how to make my double chocolate mud bars up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget-minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Happy Mother's Day, and you know, that's an easy holiday to celebrate here in the Trailer Park, because Father's Day, not so much. It gets very difficult to do that holiday. But Mother's Day is a great holiday to make mom something special. And, you know, you can make a cake or cookies. And I got together with some of my YouTube friends, and we all decided to do some desserts. And I'll put links at the end of this video so you can watch their videos. They put out videos today, too. So there's lots of recipe videos to watch, especially for Mother's Day. Well, today's recipe that I'm doing uses chocolate, and that's my favorite thing to give mom, and they're actually dessert bars, and they're called Double Chocolate Mud Bars, and you're probably going, I'm not giving mom mud on her holiday. Well, they are not mud, but they are great dessert bars that are good over coffee, and mom will really like them sliced up and maybe in a pretty tin, and I'm going to show you how to make them up next. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my double chocolate mud bars is really simple. And if your mom doesn't like chocolate, guess what? Some of my other YouTube friends are doing videos today for Mother's Day. So they've got cupcakes. One has that. And one is doing ambrosia. And all sorts of interesting things to make for Mother's Day. But this recipe is really simple because it has chocolate and marshmallows and chocolate chips in it usually is a winner because dessert bars just really slice up well and go in little tins and maybe with some wax paper. But I'm using my stand mixer today and I've got a half cup of softened butter. We're just going to pop that on in there with one cup of regular granulated sugar and we're going to cream this together until it's light and fluffy. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Now to the sugar butter mixture, you're going to add one egg yolk and then you're going to add another one after you get done with that one. So beat it one at a time. Okay, to that mixture, you're going to add a half teaspoon of salt and this is a teaspoon of baking powder. It goes right on in there. Now you could probably have sifted this all out, but I don't have the time for that. And I've got one and a half cups of all-purpose flour here. And we're going to slowly add this until we kind of make a batter. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now we have our batter mixture. And I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And I sprayed out a 13 by 9 cake pan. And what we're going to do is just dump this out. And it's kind of a crumbly batter. And you're kind of have to press it out with your hands. And you're just going to press it out. Kind of making a little bit of a lip around the outside here. Let me put that there. And I'm going to press this out to make the crust and I'll check back with you in just a moment. 
There we go. I put the batter into the pan and I pressed it out. We greased the pan too. And now we're going to add a half cup of uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. And you're just going to spread that out because you spread that crust out very thinly and um, these just go right on top. And we've got a cup of, um, let's see, crumbled walnuts here. And you should probably have toasted them a little bit because if you put them in the oven um, without toasting them, it kind of steams them and it doesn't make them taste all that great um, with that. And I've got a cup of mini marshmallows. Um, that really adds to the chocolate flavor too. Um, marshmallows just just jazzes it up. And now we got to get the egg white mixture ready for the topping. So let me get that ready and I'll be right back. Okay, remember those egg whites? We need to whip those up till they're stiff peaks. And don't be scared about doing that. You just dump them in. You can't have any of the yolks in there. So if you uh, got that in there, it's not going to work at all. And that's the trick to it. And we're just going to dump that right on in there and just get it going and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now we have the egg whites all fluffed up and I've got one cup of packed light brown sugar and we're just gonna slowly add it here. Well, actually, it's just gonna fall out into there. We're just gonna fold it in there very carefully, trying not to disturb the peaks of the egg whites here and this is actually going to make the topping for our bars. And let me just mix it around here just a little bit. Very carefully. Don't mess it up. There we go. Almost mixed here. Very carefully. Wow, those egg whites are very delicate. And now we're just going to spread it out on top of our bar mixture, which we have the chocolate and we have the nuts, and we also have the um, the chocolate chips here. And I bet you could change it out. I bet you could do maybe some butterscotch chips, or maybe if you don't like walnuts, maybe some sort of other nut. What kind of nut, or maybe the change out of the chips. What are you gonna do? Leave a comment down at the bottom because I bet this could really be changed up to your liking with that. And you gotta work quickly with this egg white because it starts falling and this is kind of like like a meringue and you made it all yourself. Won't mom be proud that you made a meringue all by yourself? And we preheated the oven at uh, 350 degrees. Almost got it all here. There we go. And it's just a nice amber color because of the brown sugar and um, this is gonna just crisp up with those marshmallows, kind of like a campfire marshmallow up on top. And then the chocolate chips are gonna melt down into it. It's just gonna be so great. And this is gonna bake for about 35 minutes. Keep an eye on it. So we're gonna pop it into the oven. So set your timer. And there you have it, my double chocolate mud bars. Won't mom be surprised that you made her a dessert bar for Mother's Day? And look at that brown sugar meringue crust that we made. And the marshmallows are toasted underneath there. And the chocolate has melted down with the nuts. And it's kind of like a blondie crust down there underneath. And they're still warm from the oven. And I just can't wait to try this one. So let me just get a bite of that. Look at that gooey marshmallow and the chocolate. And let me taste it here. Mmm, that tastes like toasted marshmallow and chocolate and the meringue is crunchy and mmm, that is so chocolatey and good and it's my double chocolate mud bars. I hope you get a chance to make them and if you do, send me pictures at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. You can find many recipes on my website jolenestrailerpark.com. And don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm there too. I'm Jolene's trailer. And don't forget there's more uh, Mother's Day specials. There's Frida's X. Um, they made um, actually a cinnamon roll cake. Wow, that's a great one for your mothers that like 
um, cinnamon and Yo-Yo Max 12 made a coconut tray leches um, cupcake and there's also cooking and crafting Beth she made ambrosia and also a blueberry uh, cheesecake with a macadamia nut crust and there's so many specials to watch today on Mother's Day I hope that all the mothers out there have a great holiday and treat your mother right, right take her out and of course make her one of my dessert bars my double chocolate mud bars and there's always something new happening in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. Hit that subscribe button. Go watch the other Mother's Day specials. There'll be a link at the bottom and, of course, at the end of this video. I love y'all, and thanks for dropping by the Trailer Park. I'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Store.com